or my main driver to wanting to be a part of the Gadsden Initiative, you know, is two parts. One, I hit the age 30 and hit this sort of existential crisis of, you know, how do I remain involved in the community? I'd been involved in the community, a number of youth-led initiatives, youth-focused initiatives up until the age of 30. And it's funny that after you hit 30, you're not youth anymore. And so at this point of, you know, what may I do to be involved in the community to still have impact and, and give back in meaningful ways? And then the second reason was that a Victoria Foundation and the GAS Initiative allowed for the opportunity to not just be involved myself, but bring my family in uh, in a meaningful way as well. And so my family became involved. Um, you know, we, we pulled together a, a fund that was very much focused on food security. Our family is a catering business and food's been an important part of our upbringing and our livelihood. And, and so we really wanted to focus on that. Yeah, the biggest benefit of joining the GATS initiative is conversation. Um, I think discourse is extremely important around whether it's, you know, vital signs causing that discourse or the Gadsden initiative or other aspects of Victoria Foundation where I might be involved in. Uh, but the GATS initiative has truly allowed for, I think, more conversation at my dinner table with my family members and beyond, uh, more conversations with other like-minded individuals that were part of the Gadsden initiative. Uh, and then just general discourse around, this is how I view economic prosperity. How is someone else's definition different when it comes to something that can be very broad um, in that sense or, or, or something else that might be broad in a different sense in ways that you give back to the community.